down and then you end up turning things off or who knows what you end up doing. <laughs> Don't get me started. Anyway, you can't see what I'm seeing, but it's a new view I have. I've moved my fat kitty. I can't help you. My cat is driving me mental. I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm looking at my house. A view from my couch. I'm looking sort of up toward the ceiling and I've added a new light. I know, it's so exciting. A new source for photons. But, for those of you that know me, you know darn well that the photons that actually enter my house are few and far between. And, but I just thought I sort of like what I'm seeing, so I'm going to draw what I see. I think I should have used a vertical. See, now it, okay. <laughs> what? Why don't I zoom in so you can see what I'm doing? Somehow when I zoom in like this, I I like zooming out, but then you can't see. So I have a light right here that I'm drawing that has, uh, it was my Easter bonnet. Yeah, I wore an Easter bonnet. It's an upside down lampshade. It has pearls and fur and lights and letters all attached to it. And that's what's right here, right in the right in the bottom of the page. And over here is a model of an ocean liner, uh, a battleship. Sort of from the time of What's his name? President Teddy Roosevelt. And it's dark. There's a overhead fan. Right here, there's a long, sort of a, I don't know what you'd call it, a wall. It's a wall that, <laughs> what's, what's the horizontal version of a stalagmite? I wonder. It goes from wall to wall. It grows sideways rather than up and down. See, I, 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 I draw like this. I rotate my screen and I zoom in and out all the time and I know that it makes you probably car sick, but that's how I, that's how I do it. Um, it's just an easier way for me to focus on what I'm doing and it's probably really annoying to watch because you have no idea what I'm doing. Only I know what I'm doing. So this light down here is illuminating the ceiling. And the thing is, when I'm done with this drawing, even if it's realistic, and I said, I'd ask 100 people on the street, what is this? And they'd say, I haven't a clue what this is. And uh, because even though I'm drawing very realistically, the scene is so ridiculously complicated and un unrealistic, I guess. I mean, this is not what interior of houses are supposed to look like, so consequently people may not recognize it as an interior of a house, but believe it or not, that's what it is. I'm adding a little bit of color, or not color, but I'm adding color just because I can.
just a little tiny bit of green. My cat is about to jump up. He just jumped up. She just jumped up. That's a little tiny bit of green. Is there any other color? It's a little brown. Right there. It's more brown. Some dark black. Well, I... This is sort of how I draw. I draw you know, light on dark, and then I go to the dark, and I add dark on light, and back and forth, and back and forth, and I go from this object to that object. So there's, here's my lamp right down here. This is a part of a chemistry balance. So there's more pearls. You can never have too many pearls. Should that be on my tombstone? Up on above this, above, on this horizontal stalagmite, are sitting some of my sculptures I used to do in my youth. I would make objects out of paper, and um, draw on them with ink or gouache, depending on year I was doing the things and um, they sort of look they look real except they're made of paper and they're um, black and white and because they're made of paper they're very lightweight so even if it looks like it's an anvil which some of them are some of them do look like they're lightweight and um, so they can rest on top of this wall without falling over. Now right sort of here, if some of this is not quite in the quite perspective, but right here I've got a peacock feather coming up and it's sort of in silhouette. Two peacock feathers, I guess. And I've got some other craziness happening. That's what I see. <laughs> what, what am I looking at, people? This is what I see. This is my house. And... You wonder why I, how can you possibly, this is so out of proportion. Some of the people on the street would say, that looks just like a house, an interior of a house with paper anvils, but it's all out of proportion. And I'd say, yeah, you're right about that. How did that happen? So what this is that I'm drawing right now is a large capital letter E that was part of my Easter bonnet and over here is a large capital letter T and the other side it has an A because it was part of my eat hat. I wore a hat that said eat with pearls and stuff on it and I wore it to a Dine en Blanc event we had here in my building and I uh, resurrected it for Easter we had an opening and I thought well I'm gonna wear my Easter bonnet so I took my eat bonnet and between the 
E and the A and the between the A and the T I added an S and between the T and the E in the E <laughs> God I can't even spell. I added an E and an R. So here's a little E, little tiny E. So it spells Easter. This is a wooden E, which is sort of silhouetted, and the R is here. And I'll tidy them up in a second. But here's the E and the R. And then we can have the part that is reflecting the light. You really don't see this one. This is pretty. You should see that right there. Even if I took a photograph of this <laughs> place and zoomed zoomed out enough so that it was a little tiny bit obscured, you'd say, I don't I have no idea what I'm looking at. What the hell am I looking at? You'd say to yourself. And you'd say to me, Are you on some sort of drugs? There's little little pearls here that are in silhouette. There's some wires. And I even electric electrified this thing. But it's neat. It's just it's it's um, it's a fun hat. Some of the pearls are illuminated really brightly, and some of them are, are silhouette. I could just draw the, the Easter hat, forget about the other stuff in my house. This is, this is fun. Oh, there's part of a tea back here. That's what my house looks like. It's one little tiny bit of green. Okay, I'm going to do a little tiny bit of artistic license here. Just add a little bit more light up here than probably is in actual existence, but we can do that. What else do I need to do here? It's, I mean, this is almost perfect. What do you think? So, well, let's, let's just make this overhead fan look you know, if there's something that maybe someone would recognize, they'd say, okay, I, rec I can see that there's an over, that looks kind of like an overhead fan blade. And then they'd say, okay, now if I keep looking at other elements maybe maybe I can recognize something else and then they'll eventually after lots of deliberation come up with oh that's an interior of a house filled with all sorts of debris rather than I have no idea what you're showing me get away from me we'll say some of the hundred people on the street Something there. Well, I'm gonna just I th I think I'm gonna call it a day on this one. This is a candlestick that is also made of paper. The 
This is a retort. And something over here, a little, I don't know what. Looks just like it. Don't you li wish you lived where I live? Yes, I do have nightmares. Yes, I am in therapy. No, I'm no longer in therapy, but I probably should be. So I'm going to call this a day. No, oh, fuck. How do I turn this thing off? <laughs> Did it stop?